1873, Fanny Crosby was visiting her dear friend and frequent collaborator, Phoebe Knapp, when Phoebe sat down at her piano and played a melody that she had recently composed. After playing it through a couple of times, she paused and asked Fanny what the melody spoke to her. Fanny immediately answered, Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. She then drew upon her extensive knowledge of scripture and shared an idea for the rest of the first stanza. The two friends took the rest of the afternoon and composed the hymn together. Blessed Assurance was first published in 1873 in the magazine that Phoebe edited with her husband, Joseph Knapp, called Guide to Holiness and Revival Miscellany. The hymn received a significant boost on the world stage in 1887 when Ira Sankey included it in his Gospel Songs No. 5 collection. Sankey added the song to a regular rotation for the revivals he led with Dwight Moody throughout Great Britain and the United States. Fanny Crosby's story is inspiring for several reasons. Crosby was blind from infancy, and her father died when she was just six months old. Her mother was forced to work long hours away from the home, and Fanny's grandmother had a strong faith and conviction to see her family brought up rightly. She devoted her time and energy, almost without ceasing, to reading the Bible to Fanny and taught her to memorize long portions of the sacred text. Before long, young Fanny Crosby would have large passages of scripture memorized, including the Gospels, many Psalms, and much of the Old Testament. She could draw upon this deep well of biblical knowledge when composing her hymns, even able to compose on the fly as with blessed assurance. Fanny Crosby would go on to become one of the most influential hymn writers in history writing thousands of hymns throughout her life. This is my story.